Welcome back to the Lord of the Rings, the third age walkthrough on the PlayStation 2. Um, this is part uh, 11, I believe. And we are now continuing inside of Eastern Moria. You can see that we are on some stairs. They look really beautiful. You can't really see it right now because we are in a battle. But just before we came into that battle, you could probably tell that we were on some sort of a, um and we just learned the Yurikai Bane for Barathor that is going to be a good attack when we actually come across some Yurik, uh, Yurikais um, later on in the game but there's no Yurikais in uh, Moria of course but you can probably tell that we are on some stairs you can see it in the background right there those are some stairs they look really beautiful I really like those stairs actually um, so yeah, we, uh, and as you can see, it's very red around here for some reason, and Idril just learned Weakening Slash. It's basically when she uses that attack, uh, the enemy that she hits with it will become weaker. It's, that's what the attack is, basically. So, uh, yeah, that's the Weakening Slash. We will use it some other time, I believe we will use it a bit later on in this video. But yeah, you can see that we are on some stairs. You can also see there, you can see that stair. It's kind of destroyed and it's three parts. I hope you saw that just to the left there. That is supposed to be the stair, I believe, that the Fellowship of the Ring went down. Because you can kind of tell with how it's... Um, the, the parts of it. It kind of looks like it, at least. I don't know if that was the intention, but it definitely does look like... That was the intention with those stairs because it really looks like the stairs that um, the Fellowship of the Ring went down in the movie, The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring. One of the best movies of all time, of course. Yep. Um, there's a lot of battles here with goblins, of course. So, um, we just killed one of the goblins. We have one more ranged goblin to take care of. He will he won't be too hard though. Let's use the flame fury. Hopefully he dies. Yes he dies. He died. I mean Yay Hadid, you and your flaming fury. Flaming fury is nice. Berthor leveled up. Um that is good. No treasures, of course. No surprise really. So we're going over here, uh, we will first go to this chest and we will see what's inside of it. A lot of goodies and we're going inside here now. Um, there's a battle here, yeah, the battle. You probably didn't see but there were a few goblins, two goblins that uh, sneaked up on us, sneaked up on us, I mean. I don't like it when goblins sneak up on you because they uh, they can be quite creepy. They just come out of nowhere, you know, and you don't you don't really see them until you're in a battle with them. And that is a reason why they're quite scary. I think they're scary at least. You guys probably don't think they're scary at all, but I really do think they're scary. Uh, I don't want to use Ender Flame, no, I don't want to use that. I want to use Flame of Fury, like so. And he didn't die, that's sad. So we have to use another attack to kill that goblin. Let's use the Wounding Strike, we haven't used that yet. Amazing, he didn't die. Oh yeah, he did die, I, I saw wrong. So um, let's pick up some stuff, get our experience, and I uh, we're going to check inside a chest, I believe. Yeah, there's a chest. Let's look inside it. Just some items that we can use. A Morgul Decay, that is good. We're going to use that later in a huge battle. Um, but yeah, yeah, we'll use that later. We won't use it right now. Goblin scum have defaced this place. My lord, I apologize. I shall avenge your honor. A spy. He is going to warn others. 
So we are now attacked by a troll and also a goblin. And Hadrid has very little action points, so he can't do anything. So I don't know, we have to use some items to give everyone more action points. Let's see what we'll use. Um, let's see. I think we'll use some health and action points to accompany just so they get a little bit more health as well. It's a good thing to give them health, you know. Um, so yeah, we are now fighting a troll and also a goblin. That is nice. Not really. Um, um, but um, you probably uh, you remember from the previous part. Um, we got a quest that had to do with us. Uh, we have we have to defeat nine trolls. I think it is. So I believe this is the second troll out of that. So after this troll we have like seven we have seven trolls left to defeat. I think it was nine though. I think it was something like that. Remember the trolls are quite powerful and they take a lot of health away from you. So you have to be careful. Use your best attacks to make to uh, defeat the troll as quick as possible. Because you don't want to die from this battle at all. You would you don't want to die. So make sure that you uh, defeat the troll very quickly. And he dodged, that is nice. And he also missed at Hadid. Dodged on Perithor and missed on Hadid, that is really nice. Let's use a cleaving wound. I think that is a good strat strategy when we're um, fighting against... Um, and sorry about that cut, it was just that my AGPVR stopped recording and you know what. Um, so I think it's good to use the cleaving wound when you're in a battle against a very strong enemy because of course the cleaving wound will take away health over time. So that is why I think it's good to use a cleaving wound. But that is quite self-explanatory and he just died from the cleaving wound as well so that is nice. Yay! Another battle done. That is really nice. An Ellie Ghost just leveled up. And we got some steel uh, steel pauldrons for had it. And we found the dwarf lord statue that is right there. He was in the cutscene and we're just going to search inside here. Greaves for Berthor. And you just you probably saw that it popped up two out of nine trolls defeated, so yeah, we have seven trolls left to defeat, and um, yeah, we're going to uh, fight the last troll right before the last boss battle of Moria. So uh, yeah, it's going to take some time to fight these trolls. Um, let's equip some uh, new equipment, the newest equipment, the best equipment that we have. Let's equip that. Uh, the Greaves, that is good. Equip them. They look much better on. And I believe that was it. I think so. And apparently I want to use some items as well, so just give some health to the company. And some action points to the comp. Wow, what was that sound? That scared me a bit. So now we can uh, continue on. There's a chest over here. So let's look inside it. King's foil. These of Lambas. And there's going to be a battle here with some goblins. We always fight these goblins. We always, always do. As you guys have probably noticed as well. Yeah, probably noticed. And you can also probably notice that this video is actually quite short. It's under 15 minutes. And I'm quite sorry about that. It's just that I don't, I don't really have more uh, material. Because I, I, I was actually going to 
I was actually going to record some more videos yesterday, um, but the HD PVR was being really stubborn and I didn't want to record. And I, I don't know why it didn't work out, but the HD PVR just wouldn't pop up on the recording um, program. So I couldn't record. So this is the last that I have. But I am going to record some more um, soon. So you probably, you guys probably won't notice um, like um, me taking a long time with getting videos up because I I haven't uploaded the previous part, part 10, yet. So uh, that's how it is. So you guys won't notice all of that, which is good because I don't like it when you do. Um, yeah, you just use a stun strike on Haddad. Um, we're going to use Idril and we're going to defeat this goblin with a loud water fury. And then uh, Bertho uses a Citadel Rage to take out this goblin. And then we only have one more goblin to defeat. And that is quite quickly actually. Uh, no, what did I just say? He's quite easy to take out so it doesn't take much time to kill him. It didn't die from the loud water fury though. So you have to do some citadel rage and then hopefully you'll die. Yes, he died. That is good. Really, really good. Um, let's see. Getting some experience. Hadid has leveled up. And Idro has leveled up. And that was it. And just some long bottom leaf. And now we're going to go down these stairs oh, watch out. Do not worry. I have you hurry it's all giving way Gareth filleth nin Oh my god, a kiss! You are close now, Gondorian, about to leave the realm of the dwarf for the world of the elf. But you are of the world of men and can never fully understand elven ways. For long ages they protected Middle Earth, but their time here ends. They will retire to their final port, and from there, sail out of your history but there is one whom they trust and who you will serve in the years to come aragorn of the dunedain will be crowned king and you are destined to play a role yep a lot of exciting things coming up so Berthor just saved Idril and she just told him that he has her love yeah I remember when I played this game once with a friend and we were doing co-op and when that happened we laughed so much because we were like really uh, we were doing the battles and we were like really into it and then they kissed each other and it was like whoa what just happened and then we just laughed a lot and it was really funny there will be a lot of more story on that love affair and much more to come later on but that is the end of the video guys come back for the next part part 12 and we will continue on in moria so come back then bye